good afternoon to all today we are discussing about eighth lesson from our chapter 7th one from 90m about chemical reactions and uh, reduction oxidation and uh, it's a uh, daily life uh, uses myself b rajendra school student physical science <coughs> the phs mutham kal our topic yesterday we learn, we learn about four main types of chemical reactions that are photo synthesis and uh, that is known as chemical combination and uh, second one is uh, chemical decomposition first one is photosynthesis or the, um, chemical com composition means two or more elements add and uh, forms a only one new product second one is decomposition only one reactant will be decomposes more than two or two or more than two that is known as chemical decomposition other two types of chemical reactions today we learn <clears throat> one is single displacement and another one is a double displacement single displacement means a chemical in a chemical reaction one molecule will be divides or replace with a, another chemical one element is replaced with another one that is known as single displacement double displacement means two elements will be replaced with each other vice versa that is known as a double displacement reaction so mainly we can classify that to chemical reactions that more that four types one is photo uh, sorry chemical combination or synthesis second one is uh, chemical decomposition third one is single displacement fourth one is a double displacement now displacement reaction in displacement reaction one element displaces another element from its compound and takes its place therein displacement of hydrogen from acid by metals generally metals which are more active than hydrogen uh, displaced is from the acid let us observe the reaction in following activity zinc plus hcl gives rise to zncl to zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas here the reactive uh, reactivity nature is more to the to metals so metals will replace the hydrogen from the chlorine so that's why here occurs the replacement reaction here description single re replacement reaction occurs when one element is replaces another in a compound here bc is a uh, combination of two elements and it is react with a element of a a is replace the c from b a is replace the c from b so products will become as b plus ac a replaced element b on the product side to be from ac and b ends up alone the chemical reactions we are taking as uh, examples ferrous reactant with uh, copper sulfate sulfate will be replaced with ferrous so copper plus ferrous sulfate will be forms here ferrous replaces the sulfate and forms ferrous sulfate copper remain lonely 
in this way replacement reactions will be occurs here from our textbook there is an activity take a small quantity of zinc dust zinc metal dust in a conical flax and add dilute hydrochloric acid slowly here we are already observed that zinc plus hcl gives rise to zncl2 plus h2 here cl hcl from that hcl cl is replaced with zinc so remaining hydrogen forms hydrogen gas that hydrogen gas fills in that balloon the red color balloon we observing in the picture so the balloon is filled with h2 gas in this reaction the chemical replacement occurs so now take a balloon and tie it to the mouth of conical flask closely observe the change in the conical flask and balloon the balloon will be increasing the size will be increasing due to the evolves of hydrogen gas from the chemical reaction so you can see the gas bubbles coming out from the solution and the balloon bulges out zinc pieces react with the dilute hydrochloric acid and the liberate hydrogen gas as shown in below zinc plus 2hcl gives rise to zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas yes chlorine gas is replaced with zinc metal so uh, single displacement reaction occurs in the above reaction the element zinc has displaced hydrogen from hydrochloric acid this is the displacement reaction and another one you have to take take two iron nails and clean them by rubbing with sand paper why you are cleaning that uh, nail because it will be forming with uh, some oxides means rust so for removing the rust you will be rub with sand paper take two test tubes and mark them as a and b you take two test tubes one is labeled as a and another one is labeled as b take about 10 ml of copper sulfate solution here you note down copper sulfate solution 10 ml in each test tube in a and in b dip one iron nail in copper sulfate solution of test tube and a and keep it undisturbed for 20 minutes label a filled with 10 ml of copper sulfate and put a nail in that one for 20 minutes keep the other nail and the test tube aside another nail is just you put in that test tube b just simply leave it now take out the iron nail from copper sulfate solution and compare with the other iron nail that has been kept aside which one you put in that one you will find the iron nail dipped in copper sulfate solute solution becoming brown the blue color of copper sulfate solution in test tube a fades the chemical reaction like this ferrous plus copper sulfate reacted and copper um, ferrous will be replace the sulfate ion and forms that ferrous sulfate and the remain copper is yellow so due to this copper that is changed to brown color iron is more reactive iron is more reactive than copper so it is displaces copper from copper sulfate this is another example of displacement reaction and here two examples are there zinc plus silver nitrate that uh, silver nitrate is uh, remains alone zinc replaces the nitrate ion and forms zinc nitrate <clears throat> lead plus copper chloride cupric chloride lead replaces the chlorine and forms that lead chloride plus copper remains in this way single molecule will be replaced from the chemical reaction so it's not a single displacement reaction otherwise if you had two two moles and two molecules will be replaced each other vice versa then it will be forms a double replacement reaction double replacement reaction occur when a metal replaces a metal in a compound and a 
non metal replaces a non metal in a compound from two compounds here ab is one combination of molecule plus cd is another combination of molecule after chemical reaction the a is replaced the c b is replaced the d and forms bc and ad in this way silver nitrate plus sodium chloride if you react uh, if it reacted silver will be replaced chlorine silver chloride plus sodium replaces no3 this forms that uh, sodium nitrate as like as uh, potassium sulfate with barium nitrate potassium nitrate forms and barium sulfate forms in this way molecules will be replaced with each other this is known as a double replacement reaction for this double replacement reaction or double displacement reaction first we uh, in this lesson first lab activity we done that is uh, lead nitrate uh, react with potassium iodide gives that potassium lead iodide plus uh, potassium nitrate lo is precipitate we forms and uh, before of the chemical reaction and after the re chemical reaction there is no change in that mass so the statement gives as uh, law of mass of conservation we neither create or not destroy the mass same a chemical reaction is the example for double displacement reaction so here we done this activity take a pinch of lead nitrate and uh, dissolve in a uh, 5 ml of uh, distal water in a test tube means preparing the 5 ml of uh, preparing the lead nitrate solution same like take a pinch of potassium iodide in a test tube and dilute in a distal water means uh, potassium iodide solution also how to prepare mix these two solutions in a another test tube what will be you observe after chemical reaction both are colorless after chemical reaction it will be observed like yellow is precipitate will be form means uh, chemical reaction occurs in this chemical reaction we should uh, uh, observe that double displacement will be occurs so lead nitrate plus potassium iodide lead is a uh, replace uh, potassium from the iodine nitrate uh, potassium uh, replace nitrate from that lead so forms that lead iodide plus potassium nitrate that lead iodide having the color of yellowish and forms precipitate precipitate means it is uh, settled bottom of the solution so this reaction is a double displacement reaction if two reactant exchange their constituents chemically and form two products then the reaction is called as double displacement reaction other examples of does, uh, double displacement reactions are sodium sulfate solution on mixing with barium chloride solution forms a white precipitate of barium sulfate and a double and a soluble sodium chloride na2so4 plus bacl2 nacl2 plus nacl plus barium sulfate baso4 and another example is that sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride and water naoh plus hcl gives rise to nacl plus h2o sodium chloride spontaneously combines with silver nitrate in solution giving silver chloride precipitate and sodium nitrate nacl plus agno3 gives rise to agcl plus nano3 in this way we will be observed double displacement reactions and after that we are uh, observing some examples from our daily life the iron will be rust after some time in a moisture place and uh, the zinc or aluminum taps also uh, becomes rust and forms a uh, white color or green color um rusting parts we will be observed if you buy a silver um, material anyone after some time you will be observe that it will becomes as uh, uh, blackish color shade uh, shade less 
so then you will be put some uh, tamar and uh, paste or uh, um, soap nut paste and uh, rub on that one after that it will be shine and as, as well as if you take uh, um, brass brass materials that are also after some time it will be some uh, shineless or uh, becomes as a blackish color if you cut apple or brinzel after some time it will be change in that uh, color slightly reddish color occurs slightly reddish color forms on that apple or brinzel why why it is uh, occurs for that means the materials will be observe the oxygen from that uh, atmosphere and forms oxides due to this oxides they change the color the gain of oxygen known as oxidation the loss of oxygen known as reduction so oxidation and reduction occurs in our daily life so oxidation is a chemical reaction that involves the addition of oxygen means gain of oxygen or removal of hydrogen sometimes there is no oxygen but is that is also a oxidation reaction why because it is a loss or removing the hydrogen either gain of oxygen either gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen remove of hydrogen known as oxidation reaction oppositely reduction is also a chemical reaction that involves the addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen if in that reaction gain of hydrogen either gain of hydrogen or either add of hydrogen or loss of oxygen or remove of oxygen known as reduction reduction chemical reaction oxidation is loss of hydrogen oxidation is loss of hydrogen or gain of oxygen reduction means reduction is gain of hydrogen or remove of oxygen from our textbook activity 11 take a One gram of copper powder in a china dish means a small glass dish. You take a copper powder. Copper powder means copper. Copper we know very well in that color of brown, the kish color or brown color. The dust you have to take one gram and put on that china dish and put it in that air only simply. And after some time, it will be. observe the oxygen from the atmosphere in the presence of sun sunlight means it is to uh, take some heat from that sunshine uh, means uh, observing the heat in the presence of sunlight copper powder is absorbs the oxygen and forms that uh, cupric oxide the cupric oxide color will be change into blackish color means when the change of the color occur we observe that means it is the copper oxide forms means it is gain the oxygen it is gain the oxygen so oxidation reaction is occurs in the activity on heating copper it reacts with oxygen present in the atmosphere to form a copper oxide the reaction is shown as copper plus oxygen observing the oxygen in the presence of heat it forms copper oxide in the black color in the activity on heating copper it reacts with oxygen present in the atmosphere from the copper oxide it is changed into the color of black so it is the oxidation reaction and another one you should uh, observe here uh, one side um, you take a long test tube you put a copper oxide in between of the test tube it is reversely uh, activity that is gain of oxygen you know oxidation reaction 
for the reduction of oxygen, uh, for the reduction of uh, reaction, you, you done this activity, you done this activity. Take a long test tube, you put that blockish copper oxide in between of the test tube and release hydrogen gas, means gain of the oxygen. For the gain of the oxygen, you should provide the H2 gas, that left side, you have to uh, provide the H2 gas and uh, heat on it. For that heating, you have to put a Bunsen burner uh, and uh, give the heat to that uh, black copper oxide. Copper oxide is the blackish color. A hydrogen gas is uh, provided from the left side. Releasing of the hydrogen gas, the hydrogen gas comes to near the copper oxide and react with that and observe the oxygen from the uh, copper oxide. Hydrogen gas observe the oxygen and forms the hydrogen plus oxygen as a water molecule. So removing of the oxygen from the copper oxide only remain, what will be remain? Copper only remain. So the, after completion of this uh, reaction, you observe that the change of the color and remain only copper. What is the color of copper? Brown color. So brown color will be appears. So here copper oxide observe the hydrogen gas and remove the oxygen. Removing of the oxygen means removing the oxygen means or gain the hydrogen means it is the reduction reaction. Generally, Observing of the oxidation, uh, generally observing of the oxygen, oxidation reaction is occurs. Uh, and removing of the oxygen or gaining of the hydrogen, it is the reduction reaction. So if you put a iron piece in that moisture place, in the presence of moisture, the metal, iron metal will observe the oxygen from that atmosphere. And after some time, it will be forms that a ferrous oxide or ferric oxide. Due to this oxygen, it will be change the color as brownish color, and it will become cracking. That is known as the rust of the iron metal. That is known as corrigen also. Corrigen also. So when ferrous oxide is Sorry, ferrous, uh, when observe the oxygen in the presence of moisture, it forms the ferric oxide that is known as a corrosion or rusting of that metal. Here you are observing that uh, one example. Oxidation is the reaction of oxygen molecules with different substances starting from metal to living tissue which may comes into contact with it. These are all the examples of the oxidations. Apples, pears, bananas, potatoes, etc. contain enzymes called polyphenol oxidase or type tyrosines which reacts with oxygen and changes the color on the cut surface of the fruit. The browning of iron when left for sometimes in moist air is a process commonly known as rusting of iron. This process is basically oxidation reaction, which requires both oxygen and water. Rusting does not occur in oxygen-free water or dry air. Burning of crackers is also a oxidization process of variety of chemicals like magnesium and sulfur. We already done this magnesium ribbon burning activity and sulfur burning activity from the eighth class and in this lesson also. Magnesium ribbon burn with oxygen, it forms the magnesium oxide. It means gain of oxygen, so it is the reduction. Any uh, combustion reactions, burning reactions are all in the uh, gaining of the oxygen only. So that's why these are all oxidation reactions. 
when some metals are exposed to moisture acids they tarnish due to the formation of respective metal oxide on their surface this process is called corrosion you see here of oh, an picture of the tap this is observe the copper copper tube this copper tube observes the oxygen from the atmosphere it is forms that cupric oxide or cuprous oxide that is the corrosion any metal you take any metal some metals are very fastly some are very slowly but all metals will be react with oxygen that is oxidization process and forms that metal oxides that is known as corrosion due to this corrosion the metal or metal things will be damaged it is a huge loss to that human beings so for the prevention of this oxidization reaction they will be give some methods to avoid the oxidation reaction with the metals for this prevention we what would we do the oxidation will not reach to that metal for this we uh, polish with uh, oil or coloring or plating with galvanizing uh, zinc that is known as galvanizing method or uh, prepare the two or three metals commonly and forms that alloys so corrosion can be prevented or at least minimized by shielding the metal surface from oxygen and moisture it can be prevented by painting oiling greasing galvanizing chromo plating or making alloys galvanizing is a method of protecting iron from rusting by coating them with a thin layer of zinc alloying is a very good method of improving properties of metal generally pure from of pure form of iron is very soft and stretches easily when hot iron is mixed with carbon nickel and chromium to get an alloy called as stainless steel the stainless steel is hard and does not rust a metallic substance made by mixing and fishing two or more metals are a metal and a non metal to obtain desirable qualities such as hardness lightness and strength is known as alloy alloys some examples of alloys are bronze brass and steel here we are observing the pictures some brass materials are there some bronze materials are there and uh, for the prevention of the uh, corrosion we have to taking that electroplating method also another one is that is also given here and uh, wheels vehicle wheels and some are uh, forms by the made by the alloys or zinc plating zinc painting that is known as galvanization the metals are painting with uh, zinc material that is known as galvanization rancidity rancidity means the chemicals rancidity have you ever tasted or smelled that uh, some food materials will be spoil after some year time or long time if your packing is loose or cut it the oxygen will be supplies to that food material and forms uh, oxidization um, reactions and it will be spoil this is known as a rancidity so that uh, so that's why the Food material will pack 
tightly and filled with some nitrogen gas also for example lays lay are uh, in our daily life that uh, um pindi vantalu these are all packing tightly in a container steel container or a plastic container uh, prevents the oxygen supply to that uh, food materials if uh, any leakage is occurs then the oxygen react with food material and uh, forms that oxidization reaction and uh, it will be spoiled that is known as rancidity so rancidity means the spoiling of food the spoilage of food can be prevented by adding um, preservative like vitamin c and vitamin e usually substances which prevent oxidation and antioxidant are added to food containing fats and oil keeping food the tight containers for example lace here from our textbook there is a uh, question is there from for that question i wrote this uh, answers mole concept from that mole concept there is a answer atomic oxygen means only atom so you indicated with symbol of o this molar mass is 16 grams so it is having the avogadro number that is 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms of oxygen like this i wrote this water water means it's a molecule the symbol is h2o this molecular mass is 18 grams the 18 grams of the water molecule having 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 water molecules for example sodium ion sodium ion means na plus so it is contains with 23 grams molecular molar mass and having that avogadro uh, number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 uh, molecules in this way okay this is our chapter